Our robotics team is made out of eight students. We have students from grade seven all the way to grade nine. We brought them together because I'm really passionate about robotics and empowering people. I think it's really important for kids to tinker, to build, and then to learn about different things with their hands and not just reading about it in a textbook. You don't have to be masters at robotics or electronics or coding. All they really have to have is the passion or the willingness to learn. My name is Sam. I'm a manager at the STEAM project, and I also coach our FTC robotics team. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. So that involves hands-on learning for kids. The students in our program are 11 to 14, and this is part of an extracurricular program outside of school hours. There's a wide range of kids that come. There are really young kids who are just learning about engineering and science. And then we have older kids that are joining us for our robotics team. I've always been interested in sciences. I was interested in law of bugs when I was a kid, and then I got interested into anatomy, and more recently, technical sciences. I think is very important, especially when you think the future, you think of flying cars and a good world. If you want robotics or science in general, then you have to improve those things as well. Science can impact the world. At the STEAM project, we teach about robotics, coding, and then it's awesome to see it come to life when we visited Mari. I'm really excited for Alex to show us the different things that robotics can be. I'm a robotics software engineer, and I program uh, software for robots. The name of the company is called Mari, short for Maple Advanced Robotics Inc. I'm excited to mentor kids because it's a way of diversifying our field. From my perspective, it's still male dominant. I'm originally from Nanjing, China. My relatives always telling me that girls shouldn't even touch technology. It's a guy thing. But it's still not true. Young girls, they need to build confidence in tech before all the bias and stereotypes hit them. I think children should start learning STEAM as soon as possible. It's a way of scientific thinking. It's a way of problem solving. They may not have everything that they need to know about robotics, but they're really interested in learning, coding, building the robot, as well as designing something from scratch, and then bringing it together for a final competition. The first tech challenge is a global competition. We're competing with teams within the greater Toronto region. Our team is a little bit nervous because it's our first competition. The students aren't really sure what to expect. We've done as much prep work as we can. This year's FTC competition is all about moving samples and specimens found in the middle of our arena to different areas. Our team name is Tesla Titans. I was put into the build team. During the competition, I was one of the drivers, so I drove the arm. It's amazing to see as we progress through the season, the girls develop from not knowing anything about robotics to then understanding some parts of it, then being able to tweak and design things. In the end, we did lose the competition, which was sad, but I learned how to work with people. I learned so much. Part of the whole process in STEAM is that you fail. You try to make different changes, whether that's with things like prototyping the shape of an intake system and changing the design by removing a certain part of it and then seeing it work. 
We teach the kids about growth mindset and that it's okay to fail. You try again. I'm really proud of what we accomplished. I think that there's a lot to still learn. My hope for the team members that I'm mentoring, that they're able to figure out ways to fix any problem and help others. My advice to young people who want to get into robotics is just to start. It doesn't matter if you know nothing about robotics, it's just about starting and then learning as you go.